Yo, what is happening today, lads? This video is partly going to be a half re-upload from the video I had yesterday, which got copyright strike by Activision because I showed the Call of Duty Black Ops leaked image in the video. It's a shame, but it's fair enough. And I usually don't condone uh, leaking important stuff about upcoming Call of Duties. Uh, but because Charlie Intel tweeted it, we assumed it was fair game. But anyway, so in today's video, I'm only going to be showing fan-made stuff and no leaked images and talking talking about the reveal date for Black Ops and the PlayStation 5 event. Um, won't be showing any leaked images or anything, just purely discussion. So just in case Activision is watching again, I'm under my infringing rights and purely providing information. Thanks, let's get into the video. So lads, since I made the video yesterday, a few more um, things have come out regarding COD 2020 and even PlayStation 5, which I will be talking about in the first half of this video. The second half will be a re-edited version of the video yesterday with a PNG of the new Call of Duty Black Ops logo, which has been um, fan created slightly different so I don't get copyright struck. But anyway, PlayStation earlier this week announced that the new date for the PlayStation 5 event is going to be on June 11th, which is going to be tomorrow. Now, I didn't cover this in a video because everyone already knew and there was no point, but because of all the crazy stuff that's happened with Black Ops, the Call of Duty Black Ops reveal and the loading screen, this has become extremely relevant because people speculated that um, COD may re be revealed at this event, but we didn't know for sure. Until today, when a user called MBG, who's also a YouTuber in the Call of Duty community, um, posted on Twitter a leaked list of the games that are originally planned for the PlayStation 5 event. In the list, he names um, PlayStation 5 games like Horizon 2, Ratchet and Clank, Crash Bandicoot, and some new IPs for other games. But most importantly on that list is Call of Duty Cold War. Now, straight off the bat, this causes heaps of confusion as this leaked image says Call of Duty Black Ops and everyone's getting copyright striked for it. Activision doesn't want it out on the internet and why wouldn't they if that isn't the real title so this is either an old um name for the game like what they originally planned to call it or this is the name um so whether which one is the name or not we will be finding out tomorrow at the playstation 5 event june 11th which is really hype that it's um right around the corner now now the next bit of information is probably the weirdest bit of info we'll get about the next cod and the most shocking a twitter user called jeff grubb who's an ambassador for um game event companies like e3 and stuff and gaming review um platforms he was asked a question about battlefield 6 um what kind of era it would be set in and uh, he said it would be set in modern day which he then also shockingly replied to blackout is going to return in some form with black ops this year now i think this is some information that everyone was least expecting now i have a theory that this isn't actually blackout returning it's more blackout being incorporated into warzone or a treyarch style of br um, with Treyarch guns and maybe the blackout map will make an appearance in Warzone as Activision has said they want to carry on Warzone as long as it's successful throughout the next COD and we're going to have like a bypass on the main menu which you can go straight to Warzone from Call of Duty Black Ops 2020. I think this would be the best idea because I know some people like blackout and a lot of people like Warzone. I think Warzone mechanically is a lot better but I'm sure Treyarch fans like the colors and the design factor of blackout so in incorporating the two together um, to make that Treyarch feel within Black Ops would be a perfect idea. So now on to the second part of the video. So this part of the video is going to be a re-edited version of the upload I had yesterday. It got copyright striked which sucks but um, I'm going to put it in because it's still valid info and I'm going to show a PNG of the new uh, Call of Duty Black Ops logo but I can't show the real image to avoid getting copyright striked again but um, yeah. But I'm just going to talk about how these leaks came about and about how that the official title has been confirmed as Call of Duty Black Ops so much like the Modern Warfare reboot it is just the first game's original title which I think is great it's clean it's simple and the amount of hype on Twitter and Reddit about this already is crazy so this is huge news for COD 2020 and uh, the way this came about is over the last couple days there's been some leaks from an online um, website that has PlayStation uh, patches it updates every time the PlayStation patches are first uploaded onto the server 
and after data miners went in into the patch notes and they found that there was a new project called the red door which is actually a key hold placeholder name for um call of duty 2020 and the patch notes for it was 72 gigabytes so once they dug into the files even more they found it is actually a cod 2020 alpha so it's like a really early version of the game that's on the uh, playstation patch website the Red Door operation has reference to multiplayer, zombies, even Warzone that will be carried on from Modern Warfare into Black Ops, um, the next COD 2020 game. And crazily enough, today, because it was a patch note that was for the PlayStation 4 and it was actually downloadable, if you have a jailbroken or a modded PS4, people today downloaded it onto their consoles and were able to see it in their applications on PlayStation 4. So I uploaded this part of the video um, yesterday until it got copyright striked because I had the real image of the loading screen that got leaked in the video. Today I'm not going to have um, the image in the video as I said at the start, but I am going to show a, um, a PNG created by fans that is similar uh, to the logo we've got. And obviously because my video got striked, it is the first reason why this is 100% legit. And obviously Treyarch and Activision don't want it out there. And I understand that because I'm not really a fan of um, huge leaks that ruins the game's health. So yeah. Um, we know this is 100% real because Charlie Intel themselves were posting about it and then minutes later they removed their tweets saying that um, you, you can post this around if you want but they'd obviously been advised by Activision considering their official ambassador and they've obviously been messaged by them asking them to take it down so it's 100% real um, which is really exciting for all the news that's about to come flooding through. In the real image there are some scattered documents and on the background you can see in small print it says 1976 so giving us some clue of why there was rumors of it being cold war or call of duty black ops cold war because it will be sent in that time period and it won't be a reboot which is something that i think is great news because i don't think uh, we need a modern warfare style reboot i think we need a continuation of the og black ops story and it's perfect that it's lining up all like this now these playstation uh, patch notes are being data mined even further right now um, from the jailbroken PS4s and even audio files crazy enough audio files from the game like cutscenes and stuff are starting to come out so I was gonna wait to make a video on that when they get leaked but I'm sure they'll get copyright strike 100% but definitely keep an eye out on Twitter and reddit for leaked cutscene uh, audio files or even more images because saying there's over a hundred gigabytes actually in there of stuff so there's the alpha and all the cutscenes and whatever's in there which is really surprising that this has come out and been able to be accessed like this so easily um it's a bit of a shame because i don't really like it when stuff gets spoiled but uh it's going to be out anyway so make sure to keep an eye out for that now lastly we have some brief news about modern warfare season four the release date and the leaked file sizes of the uh, season update now the information about the release date is from an unverified source but it was posted on the gaming life website which generally have been fairly reliable but the file size that has uh, been data mined is 100 percent legit um, that is correct information and as you can see on screen the playstation 4 file size is going to be 35 gig and it's going to be an extra 10 gigabytes on the other consoles which is going to be another huge update um, which is a huge problem with the latest cards where you just need to take up your whole hard drive or buy a new hard drive just to be able to play these games but i guess it's whatever he also mentions in the article how um, we all know captain price will be making a return now as the article say the release date is speculated to be due June 11th at 11 p.m. Now this is going to be interesting because it is going to be on the same day as the PlayStation 5 event but it's going to be quite later in the evening so it does make sense and also it is usually when they do change the seasons or update the game. And as we know from the past uh, Modern Warfare isn't afraid of doing spontaneous surprise um, updates or reveals or drops. So it definitely makes sense for them to do this while the Call of Duty Black Ops um, announcements happen and there may even be some Call of Duty Black Ops teasers within the new season. But that's going to be all for today's video lads. Appreciate everyone watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later.